On May 20, Shenzhen SEG Company issued a notice suspending access to the SEG Tower Office and Electronic Market for all owners and tenants starting at midnight on May 21. At the same time, there is news that a Chinese construction and engineering company won a tender for the repair of the SEG Tower with a price tag of RMB 1.7 billion. It followed three days of unexplained successive vibrations of the SEG Tower. On May 18, the 356-meter-tall SEG Plaza skyscraper in Shenzhen, a southern city bordering Hong Kong, experienced severe shaking and 15,000 people were evacuated in an emergency. The city's Housing and Urban Rural Development Bureau said in a statement, from 9 p.m. at night to 3 p.m. the next day, a number of professional organizations closely monitored the skyscraper's vibration, tilt, and subsidence. The three indicators were far below permitted levels, and data from the monitoring did not reveal any abnormalities. On May 19, the SEG tower shook again between 1.30 and 2 p.m. At around 12.30 p.m. on May 20, merchants on several floors of the building, including the 35th, 55th, and 60th floors, said they felt the shaking. The video provided by the merchants showed that there was a noticeable shaking of water in the fish tank and standing electric fans. A Chinese Weibo user, a woman who works in the SEG building, posted a thread on the evening of May 13, saying that she felt the building shake on the 57th floor. The user later told reporters that she had been at SEG for three years and hadn't felt the building shake before, even during typhoons. On the evening of the 19th, several large trucks filled with steel pipes, planks, and barbed wire parked in front of the building, but they were gone the next day. No protective shed was built on site. Perhaps the building's management hadn't quite figured out its next move at the time. The SEG building was directly invested in and built by Shenzhen SEG Group Company. The building has 79 floors, 75 above ground and 4 below. It has a height of just over 355 meters and a construction area of 164,300 square meters. The first 10 floors of the building have a four-sided shape featuring retail stores. The upper 60 floors are cylindrical in shape with mainly office space. It is the 18th tallest building in Shenzhen and one of the world's tallest steel tube concrete buildings. During its construction, it was praised by Chinese media as Shenzhen Speed when it took only 2.7 days to build one floor. On the 19th, the official report of the preliminary investigation released by the Emergency Management Department of Guangdong Province said that the building trembled up and down, rather than swinging from side to side. The shaking was likely due to a combination of factors, the influence of wind, two subway lines in operation below the building, and a large temperature difference with the recent increase of up to 8 degrees Celsius having a great impact on the steel structure. However, on May 18, the first day when the vibration happened, there was no high wind around the building. The maximum wind force was 5 on that day. The report also mentioned, dampers are not installed at SEG Plaza and experts suggested installing them to improve its resistance to winds and shaking. Dampers are special devices placed on the structural system of a building to damp the mechanical vibrations and consume kinetic energy. Generally speaking, most tall buildings over 300 meters are now installed with dampers. A building industry insider who did not want to be named told the Chinese media that Guangdong province is located in the coastal zone where typhoons often occur. The design of super tall buildings should especially take into account the resistance to wind forces by adopting designs that are conducive to reducing the wind resistance of buildings and adding wind dampers. SEG insiders said that the construction of the SEG building was done at an earlier time when the structure was designed without dampers. While the shaking building is sparking speculations, a master's thesis from China's Huizhong University of Science and Technology from 20 years ago was trending on the internet. The title of the thesis was, An Analysis of Shenzhen SEG Plaza Construction Project. The paper pointed out that back then, as a landmark building in Shenzhen, the construction of the SEG tower started before the design drawings were even finished. Changes were made to the design while construction was underway. 
This approach was adopted because more than $50 million had been invested in the foundation part in the early stage. If the construction was stopped, it would certainly cause an increase in the financial cost of the invested capital. This phenomena of designing and constructing at the same time has continued until the construction of the structural works of SCG Plaza was completed. The paper mentioned that the steel structure was completed in April 1999 and the antenna part of the roof finished on April 30 of the same year. It was a sunny day in Shenzhen at the time, with only a light breeze. The workers were relaxed, but the pedestrians on the ground noticed that the antenna of SEG Plaza was swaying violently. It turned out that the design of the antenna was incorrectly calculated to have caused resonance. The builder and designer immediately summoned all the workers to work day and night to cut the top of the antenna 26 meters even without safety facilities to set up. After recalculating and with local modifications, 13 meter antennas were installed. Some have speculated it might have something to do with the owners of the SEG electronics shops mining Chia coins on their stalls. Where SEG Plaza is located, known as China's number one electronics street, it is one of the most important places in China to sell mining machines for virtual currencies such as Bitcoin. In the last month or two, there has been a massive wave of high capacity hard drive purchases in China as Chinese miners have taken a shine to an emerging cryptocurrency called Chia, or Green Bitcoin, and Eco-Friendly Bitcoin. Compared to Bitcoin, the Chia coin only requires a storage space, so the investment does not need to be as large, and the average person can use a spare hard drive to participate in mining. In particular, Chia's compliance with the current policy of energy conservation and environmental protection has made it an overnight success leading to a shortage of hard drives in China and a rise in related stocks. This argument suggests that Chia coin has risen in the last two months and the owners of SEG electronic shops have been mining Chia coin in their booths. The coin leads to efficient hard disks or SSD solid state disk in short supply, so people have turned to HDD hard disk drives for mining. As the hard disks rotate at high speed and when hundreds of thousands of hard disks rotate clockwise at a high speed at the same time, Coupled with the Corollas effect in the Northern Hemisphere, it creates the resonance of the SEG building. Indeed, almost all stores selling mining machines on the first to fourth floors of the SEG Plaza were found to have advertisements for Chia coin miners. However, a mining store owner thinks this is unlikely because mining requires the miner to run without interruption 24 hours a day, and SEG market cuts off power at night, making it impossible to mine. If people see some shops with mining machines running, it's just the store owners testing the machine equipment. Such speculation then sparked the interest of Chinese netizens, some of whom dug up leads that suggest Chia is in fact a scam by Chinese scammers tailored for the Chinese. This whole thing has been rife with Chinese capital drive, from popping domestic hard drives to marketing on domestic exchanges and so on. The man behind the scenes points to a well-known Chinese cryptocurrency celebrity who has acquired BitTorrent Incorporated and an internet-related enterprise in Zhejiang province founded in 2013, whose shareholding structure shows a state-owned capital in Shanghai. People who work or do business in SEG Plaza have different attitudes towards what happened. Most are worried. Some said that if safety is not guaranteed, they would rather quit their jobs than go to work while a few others said that they do not want to leave their stores because their lives are not worth much, and in comparison, the closure of their stores will lead to difficulties in life. Will Shenzhen SEG compensate the tenants for the interruption to business due to this building shaking? The secretary of the board of directors said that for the time being, it does not appear so. As for the construction engineering company that won the bid of RMB 1.7 billion to repair the SEG building, people are curious as to how the building can be repaired when the cause of the shaking is still unknown.